the quality dr like changes dramatically because like, I don't know like there's some kind of effect apply onto it that it makes like it sound like you record this with like a expensive ass microphone but you just apply some reverb on there so let's place one guy on zero and let's see what let's see what that sounds like <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Alex, and welcome back to a brand new Audacity tutorial. It's Thursday, it means a new video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your voice sound better or clearer. Because I received so many comments from people like, "Dude, can you show me how to make your voice sound better in, in Audacity?" So in this video, I'm going to cover that topic. So I would say, let's get started. All right, guys. So first of all, before we can actually apply some effects to our uh, to our recording, uh, we need a recording actually. So I'm going to re record something uh, real quick, and I'll be showing you guys how to apply some effects on it. So let me record something real quick. Okay, so this is a uh, recording example of how to make your voice sound clearer. So I'm gonna apply some effects to onto, onto this uh, clip. So I'll show you guys how to do it right now. Okay, so that's our audio recording. And first of all, what we're going to do is we need to highlight everything that we want to uh, edit. So the next thing they want to do is we're going to go over to effects and you want to apply a compressor on there. So usually what I would do and recommend is not like men like mess around with those markers, just leave it how it is and you want to press on okay. It improves it actually a little bit. So let's see what it sounds like right now. Okay, so this is a uh, recording example of how to make your voice sound clearer. So I'm going to apply some effects to onto, onto this uh, clip. So I'll show you guys how to do it right now. So that sounds pretty, pretty good, but it's not that much. It didn't improve that much either. So what we're going to do is we're going to also just reselect everything. Then we're going to go over to effect and we're going to apply some reverb on there. So I'm going to click on reverb. And as you guys can see, we have so many markers and right here, you want to actually mess around with all those markers until you're happy with it. So the room size is basically if I drag this up, let's see what it sounds like right now. Okay. So this is a, it, it kind of makes me sound like I'm in like in a hall. Uh, so I'm going to place, I'm going to put it uh, down halfway to 50. Let's see what it sounds like right now. Okay, so this is a, it still actually sounds like an empty room. So the room size is, let's say I'm going to place this on five. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so this is a uh, recording example. As, as you guys can hear, the, the quality changes dramatically because, like, I don't know, like there's some kind of effect apply onto it that it makes like it sound like you record this with like a expensive as microphone but you just apply some reverb on there so let's place one guy on zero and let's see what let's see what that sounds like okay so this is a uh, recording example of how to make your voice it sounds pretty good but if you want to say like i don't want to have the echo or that like some kind of effect that's on the way i'm gonna want to i just want to have that lower uh, the pre-delay we're gonna place that one let's see if we if we place this one on 65 Okay, so this is a... Uh, so that's actually the pre-delay, so I don't, I'm just going to minimize this to zero. Let's see what that sounds like as well. Okay, so this is a uh, recording example of... So that sounds really, really good, but the bad thing is, like, we have that many markers already, so it's going to take a long time to go all over this. So what you want to do is, I'm going to let you guys do, do it yourself on those markers. Uh, so let's say the tone low is on 100%. Let's see if we place that on, uh, on zero. Okay, so this is a... So there are so many different markers that actually can make like a huge difference. So let's say if I place the damping to zero. Okay, so this is... And that's basically a little ex example of how to use it and how to do it. Because like I said, I'm going to do the, the first two markers are in my case on zero. But I'm, I'm going to let you guys do all the rest of the markers. And let's see if we can pick any um, factory presets. So as you guys can see, it says small room dark. Let's pick that one. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so this is a uh, recording example of, as, as you guys can hear, there's like a little bit of bass added to it and also a small uh, amount of delay. So I'm just going to just uh, place this on zero and let's see the re let's say the room size on 20. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so this is a uh, recording example of how to make your voice sound. So that's actually a pretty good result. So I'm going to click on OK, and then it's going to take a small while uh, just to apply the effects on there. But that's how it is, guys. That's how to improve. And you're probably thinking, like, Alex, you just mess around with the markers here and there, nothing changed. Well, it makes this huge difference if you apply the reverb onto and the compressor. So I'm going to let you guys finish this. I'm just going to let you guys finish on the final markers. So when you're done, make sure to come back to this video and let me know in the comments how your recording turned out because I'm really curious, like, what you guys uh, achieved. So that's it for the video, guys. It's a really small video, I know, but it's not that difficult to make. 
make your voice sound clear. I just want to keep those tutorials short and brief, like always. I don't want to have like a 10 minute video uh, just to show you guys how to apply some effects on there. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for liking and there you go. That's it for the video guys. Thank you guys for the continued support. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for new videos always. And also next Thursday for a new Audacity tutorial. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.